Wurzel, are you in there? All right, come on in. Wurzel, if Mrs. Braithwaite catches you with her best tablecloth, she'll skin you alive. Ugh, not if I can help it. I've had a few of me heads skinned off alive before now with a tater peeler, and it don't half hurt. What do you think you're doing anyway? What do you think I'm doing? Sunbathing, isn't I? In a barn? That's right, yeah. But there isn't any sun. In there, just. You go outside that door and have a look. Yes, but you can't sunbathe indoors. You've got to go outside. You don't think I'm going to stand outside in the sunshine to do my sunbathing, do you? Not on my turnip bed, on. Uh, too much sun on a turnip bed, it starts sprouting roots and shoots, particularly if it's been a drop of rain the day before. Oh, it's all right for humans. All they ever sprouts is whiskers. Uh. No, I reckon uh, if there's any sunbathing to be done, to be on the safe side, I'll do it in here. Oh, Wurzel, how can you be so stupid? Don't you be so flippity, young woman. In any case, I'm not going to argue fire with you. Not on me holidays. Scarecrows can't have holidays? Oh, yes, they can, long ones. And they retire and all. Retire? You can't retire. Well, humans does. Not scarecrows. Well, tell me this then, young smarty pants. If humans can decide to be scarecrows, why can't scarecrows decide to be humans? But humans can't be scarecrows. That's just where you're wrong, Miss Know It All. Because all parcel of them turned up here this morning practicing to be scarecrows. Where? You come along with me, I'll show you. 